This morning is going to be a little bit different, uh, being Mother's Day, it's going to be a little bit different than uh, we've done in the past. So I hope that it uh, really touches your heart. Let's start with our uh, gathering song this morning. It's called You Raise Me Up. Good morning. Happy Mother's Day. Whether you're a mom or not, we all have children in our lives. And so we need to embrace all of us. 
please remain seated and pray with me. Blessed and holy Lord, we love you from the bottom of our hearts. Please bless and guide us in these uncertain times. Please bless and guide us in these new and unusual Sunday worship services. Now is the time, Lord, when we give thanks for all of the joys that you put into our hearts this week. It's also the time when we kneel before you, Lord, and pray for our loved ones, our church, our country, and our world during these difficult times. For all those suffering and for all those lost, we ask our Holy Lord that you be with them and gently guide them out of the valley that they find themselves in. Glory be to you, Holy Jesus, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I told you before that today was going to be a little bit different type of sermon um, than we normally would experience on a Mother's Day. Um, I usually try to keep it upbeat. I try to keep, uh, you know, a focus on the, uh, the little kids in our lives and how cute and adorable and wonderful that is. But the fact of the matter is, mothers in general, I have shortchanged a little bit in that Mother's Day today is often, for many women, the most difficult day of the year. It's the hardest day to get through. It's the most challenging day that they've ever faced. Now I had to curve my sermon a little bit this morning because uh, we have a huge generational sensitivity issue here today with so many uh, varying aged folks with us. But I'll do the best I can. There's a huge spectrum of our children making poor choices in our life that affects our hearts. I mean, over here on the one end, we might have just some disrespectful teen. And that hurts. It hurts you. It hurts your heart. But then you go all the way over to the other end of the spectrum and you find somebody who's had to bury their child or a grandchild or even great-grandchild. And the hurts are tremendous. And in this wide spectrum of bad choices, there's all kinds of things. There's our kids that have had legal problems and may have ended up in prison. There's bad orientation choices alcohol, drugs, estrangement, runaways. The spectrum is huge. And no two of you, if you've experienced this type of thing, probably have the same type of broken heart. But as far as the spectrum of hurt is concerned, it's pretty narrow. It's itty bitty, it's only a tiny slice of this big spectrum. Because the hurt you feel over your son or your daughter is your hurt. And it tears your heart apart. And you live with that day in and day out. So it really doesn't matter what the situation is or why your heart is hurting. It is hurting you. That situation is yours. You claim that situation. And that's why you hurt. So today, I want to do something a little bit different. I want 
to introduce you to help. A lot of times you go through these things, you're quiet about it, you live it in your own life, but you don't share it. But there's help out there. No one, no mother, should have to hurt that like that all year. So this morning we're going to introduce you to a opportunity to lessen that hurt. It's called Hurting Moms and Mending Hearts. And it was started by this lady, Kathy Taylor. Oh, probably, you know, like these things get going uh, a little at a time. She probably started with the idea maybe 20 years ago. And only four years ago, she actually wrote a book. But she started this program. She was a hurting mom. She's also an author. She's a pastor. And she's a pastor's kid. She's also a celibate recovery state representative. So what I'm going to do is just let uh, Kathy tell you in her own words about this program. Now, this was a Zoom uh, session that she did just in general to the community. So she really didn't lay the program out from beginning to end. She just talks about it. But you'll get the idea. It's not the highest quality because it was a Zoom copy. So just sit back, relax, and see what she has to say about this program she started. Good morning, Hurting Moms community. Happy Monday. Um, I hope you all had a good weekend. Um, I don't know about where you're at, but the weather here in the mountains in Arizona has been wonderful. Um, just it's warm and there's things in bloom and um, it really lifts my spirits, that, that kind of thing. It's been a beautiful weekend and uh, weeks going forward, I hope. I wanted to just uh, say hello and I want to share a couple things with you. You know, I keep seeing we're having more and more and more new moms, new hurting moms join our Facebook page like on a daily basis. And as hard as that is, as much as that, that breaks my heart, honestly, that there are so many of us all around the world. But the fact that we have this place to come to be get encouragement, you know, it's so funny. Moms will tell me, I'll get emails and they'll say, I don't know how it happened. It just popped up in my feed. I've been looking for something like this. I've been praying for something like this um, because we go for so long feeling totally alone, don't we? Um, we don't talk about the pain we have over our kids. We don't talk about the shame that we have. And so we feel alone because nobody else talks about it either. And so we come here to Hurting Moms Mending Hearts and we find out that we're not alone. And um, there's a lot of healing that happens just in that, honestly. I mean, I don't know if you've recognized that, but just when you realize you're not the only one, that there are other moms in the same situation that you are, that are hurting over their kids. Um, there's something about that that helps. And then to be in a safe place where we can share. So I kind of want to go over the things that we have available to help moms. Um, there's a lot, we try to provide as many resources as we can. They don't cost anything. We just try to provide resources to help you be able to get to a better place. I mean, I don't think there's any hurting mom that is not longing for joy and peace again in their life. I know for me, anxiety was a huge emotion. I hurt all the time. I woke up with my stomach churning. I went to bed with it churning. I was just a basket case. Um, I never knew when I was going to start crying. I just isolated. And I think that we all long for joy and peace. We see other families. And let's face it, moms, mother stays right around the corner. And I don't know about you, but this is, was always an incredibly difficult and painful time of year as we see other families celebrating and uh, the, the Hallmark commercials, right? And uh, maybe you don't know where your child is. or maybe your child is in prison. Maybe your child is on the streets. Maybe they've estranged themselves from you. Whatever your situation, um, it's a painful time. 
And so we're all looking for joy and for peace and for encouragement. And I'm here to tell you that it can be yours, that you can have joy and peace again in your life, no matter what your child is doing or not doing. And so some of the things, though, that we provide, I just really, this is my heart to help other hurting moms because I know what all that feels like. And I don't want anybody to have to feel the way that I did. The first thing that we have are we have um, devotionals. It's called the Daily Encouraging Word. And you can go to our website at hurtingmomsmendinghearts.org and you can sign up for those for free. They'll come in your email every morning. Um, they also, some of them are on Facebook. You'll see the little uh, devotional blogs that we put on Facebook. And some of those are what you'll get in your email as well. But, um, those have been really helpful, and it's a great way to start the day just to remember who, who's in control, right? You're not in control. Your child's not in control, but God is in control. And so being able to turn our attention to him, because I don't know about you, I would wake up every morning, the first thing I'm thinking about are my kids, especially the ones that are doing things they shouldn't be doing or whatever, the ones that are hurting me. So um, those daily encouraging words are a great way to start your day and they've come to your email every day. So I want to encourage you to go to our website and sign up for a daily encouraging word. If you've received them in the past and they stopped coming, that is because there's 200 of them. So once you receive 200, they quit coming. If you want to keep getting them or you want to go back to the beginning again, just go ahead and go to our website and sign up for it again, and then you'll start getting them. I will tell you that my goal is to write another 165 of those by the end of this year, and then there'll be two. There'll be one for every day of the year instead of just 200. That's one thing that you can do, a uh, way to find encouragement, to find strength um, for yourself. Another thing is at our website, we have videos, there are blogs, of some that I've written, some that other people have written. Um, we try to, for me, I don't, it's so important just to have things on there that you can tap into that will help you uh, get to a better place to be able to experience the joy and the peace that God has for you. And so you'll find some blogs on our website. You'll find, you have to kind of browse around in there, but we're all getting pretty good at clicking, right, with the mouse. So just go to the website, look around, look at the videos. Um, I think you will, um, I think, it, I think you'll be encouraged. And then of course we have this Facebook page. Um, every, several times a week we post, um, posts on here. I go live with a guest every Thursday night at six o'clock Pacific time. I've been doing that for about four years. Um, and lots of moms tune in and you can get conversations going in the comments. And um, it, it's a pretty amazing time. Again, it's all about community. It's about recognizing that we're not alone and that we can help each other and we can lift each other up. And um, it's so important. But the very most important way for you to find encouragement and to find hope and joy again, and we've had hundreds and hundreds of moms experience this, is to get into a Hurting Moms Mending Hearts group. Now, we have online groups, um, and I'm going to tell you right now, there's it costs $19.95 to get into it. That includes your workbook. We use this workbook. And you'll get your workbook that you'll use in the in in the group every week, and it lasts for ten weeks. So the, the that 1995 includes your workbook, as well as the ten week um, of, for to get into the Zoom room. Your ten, 10 sessions. We have amazing leaders. All of our leaders are hurting moms and have been through this, and they believe so much in it that they've wanted to come back to lead groups. Um, uh, in the groups, we do things like we talk about our emotions. I mean, what kind of, how many of you, the emotions that I remember, disappointment, discouragement, anger, anxiety, fear, all of those things, guilt, shame. Um, we talk about those emotions. We talk about them from a biblical pr perspective. What does the Bible say about these emotions? We talk about um, how to pray for our kids. We, you know, I don't know about you. I get to the point where, I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't even know how to pray anymore for my child. But we learn how to pray, like pray the scriptures over our kids. There's so many things. Best of all in these groups is there, there'll be between four and eight or ten women in the group. So you get to know these women. And they're online. So you, the chances, I don't think anybody in all the years they've been doing this has ever run into somebody that they know in one of these groups. Um, so it is completely anonymous. 
We have amazing leaders. You will be with other moms who are going through the same stuff you are, who understand your pain, and you'll work through this process. And I promise you that before you get done with it, you're going to start smiling again. All the leaders, we all talk about how about week four or five, all of a sudden we start seeing the moms change. They start smiling and they, they become close to each other, um, open about their situation. I just cannot express it to you enough. We have like five groups that are getting ready to start coming up. And so I want to tell you about these because, again, if I could just sign you all up, I would, because I just know it's going to make a difference. We have a group starting on April 22nd and one on April 27th. We have one starting May 3rd, May 11th, and May 17th. And they're all um, different days of the week, some in the day, some in the evening, um, all different times. Remember, we list all the times as Pacific time. So you got to figure out if you're in New York and it says your group starts at 4 o'clock, that means it's going to start 7 o'clock your time. So you figure out where you are, and that's what time it is for you. But uh, I... I just can't stress it enough. I mean, we talk about this all the time, but, and then some of you moms that might be watching this right now, if you've been through a group or you are a leader of a group, would you in the comments encourage another mom, a mom who may be thinking about it or maybe is just finding us, encourage them to get into a group. And again, ladies, I don't like to sound like I'm trying to sell something because I'm not. I don't. We don't make any money on this for the books and all the stuff that we do. It's it's because I know it works, and I am so passionate about your heart mending and about you being able to find peace and joy again in your life the way I have. And I want to share with you, and that's what the book is about and what the groups are about, sharing with you the steps to take to get to a better place. And if you woke up this morning if you woke up this morning to feeling sick inside and anxious inside and worried about what this day or this week is going to be, this is a group for you and you will be encouraged and you will find hope and healing. I, I promise you that. Um, a, a lot of it, we've talked about this before. A lot of it is, is based on scripture. I don't know how to do this without Jesus. Um, in my own situation, this is what brought me, to the Lord. This is what, when my pain, my devastation over my daughter was what made me turn to the Lord because I didn't know where else to turn. And so when I did that, he taught me all kinds of things and I was able to find hope and healing. I was be able to find joy again. And so that's what I want to share with you. That's why I wrote this whole thing. That's because I thought, man, and, and you know what, ladies, we're, we're up to over 58,000 followers on this Facebook page. And so that shows you how many moms are hurting and broken and devastated over their children. And so I know I'm going on and on about this, but I just can't stress it enough. So please, 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 if you haven't signed up for a group yet, just do it. You know, trust God, step out. I mean, especially the online stuff, it kind of feels weird. But honestly, you will not regret it. You won't regret it. I guarantee you, you will be completely happy. And then, you know, it'll happen. You'll want to help other moms. You'll want to help others um, to, to get to that place where you are. So um, I guess that's all I have. I love you. Another thing I was going to ask people that are, are uh, watching. Hi, Cindy. Um, I see, I see some people on here that, that are leaders that are, have been in groups. Another thing that I wanted to say is those of you who are watching, who have been through a group, or maybe you haven't yet, but you have a favorite scripture that has encouraged you and that you cling to uh, through this whole situation, this whole process, would you just put the scripture reference in the comments? Because we need to share those with each other. And maybe that you have a scripture that somebody else hasn't read and it will really um, give them a lift. You know, one of my one of my favorites that I've hung on to for so many years is Ezekiel thirty six twenty six, and it's um, where God promises He'll give you a new heart. He said He says I will give you a new heart, and I'll take away your stony heart of sin and give you a new soft heart. And that is my prayer for my child and for my children. 
um, that the ones that are out there, the ones that are far away from God, that God would give them a new heart. I see somebody is asking me to change. I, I think I have a typo up in the this comment, so I'll fix that when we get off. Thanks for letting me know, Leanne. Um, anyway, so I pray that you all have a great week. I have a, a really good um, Thursday night uh, for our program. Thursday night, I ha I'm having a panel of three people who are part of a ministry called Living Stones. And I um, I am going to, they're going to be on as my guests and sharing with you some about that ministry. And I'm really excited about it. So be sure to tune in on Thursday night at six o'clock. Um, again, right your other, Donna says she uses the ser serenity prayer. Boy, that is a good one. I, I totally, um, I've used that many, many times over my years as a hurting mom and years in recovery um, that I've gone through. So um, I hope to see you all Thursday. Again, go to our website, find some encouragement there, whether it's in, sign up for a daily encouraging word. Um, it, they will come, they're free, it doesn't cost you anything. Look under the blogs, look under the videos, the media on there. Just all of you shop around on our website. And then if you want to join a group, which I pray, pray, pray that you will, then um, I think you can go to groups and find an online group. We There are some local groups, but because of COVID, a lot of local groups aren't meeting. But we do have, like I said, five online groups coming up in the next month and a half. So um, I just love you all. I pray for you every day. I wake up thinking about hurting moms, going to bed thinking about hurting moms. And um, I just pray that you will reach out and seek the help that you want. And we know that um, God is just waiting to give you hope and to give you healing and to give you joy and peace again in your life. God bless you all. Have a wonderful week. Take care. I just want to make one clarification from the tape before we continue. And that is that, like she said, when COVID came, everything just about went to online. I know how most of us in this room uh, can't much stand online stuff. So uh, please know that as COVID slides away, uh, this, this started out and continues to be an in-person uh, gathering of these small groups around the world. I'm going to let Nancy finish up with the remainder of the sermon today. Um, I'm Thank you. 
30 miles. Mostly to have a stone for a daughter in prison. I had found my calling. I was so excited. This was something I could do for the Lord. Sadly, however, two years ago, they ended that ministry and boy was I lost. What does Nancy do now? Not that I'm not busy. As I said, we have two children, and I grab children. That keeps me very busy. And I love every moment of it. So I began searching for my next ministry. Because I know that when the Lord shuts one door, he opens another. Jim can certainly tell you that I am a very stubborn woman at times. And the Lord has been working on my heart a little at a time, leaving me little God notes everywhere I turn. In many times, my son never leaves my broken heart, and I often cry myself to sleep. Although, you see me smile, it's the outside. You don't see my inside. I let very few people in because of the guilt and the shame and the tremendous hurt that he has given to us. Not just me. He's hurt my daughter, his dad, the whole family has hurt from his bad choices. I know enough people in my life that I can pretty much track of what's going on in his life. Lots of times through his children. You know, one day I was at their house at Jennifer's, their mom, and we were holding them, sitting there scratching reeds back, you know. And Jennifer scratching cold it. And Reese says, oh, I like this. I said, oh, you know what, your daddy used to love for me to sit on his bed and scratch my his back. So just a little snipping. And um, a minute later, we looked up at me. He said, Grandma, my dad never wants to see you again. I said, you know, that's really sad, Bree. I have to keep it together because this is not on Bree. This is on Nathan. And Bree doesn't deserve this. Neither one, Bree or Hope, deserve that. And every time I think it can't get worse with him, it does. So now I decided I'm going to open a new door that the Lord has put in front of me. It's called, as you saw, Hurting Moms, Many Hearts. I'm going to start a very food, a proven, you know, ministry. It's a 10-week program that other moms can go from a broken heart to a mended one. These will be very private meetings here at the church. And I borrowed something from Tyler's outside that we always say, what you hear here, it stays here. We have to have an atmosphere of complete trust. And it doesn't have to be mom. It can be grandma. It can be aunt. It can be sisters that are struggling with a child in their life that do nothing but hurt. So consider joining me on this 10 week journey as I leave with this verse from Matthew. Come to me, all of you who are weary and heavy burden, and I will give you rest. Amen. So, if you came this morning with one of those broken hearts, the whole purpose of today was to make sure you understand there is help out there, and probably most important of all, you certainly are not alone.
If you have felt the dark of night, questioning what is out of sight, he is the answer. He is the light. If you have felt the weight of sin, bound by the shame that's hemmed you in, he broke the chains. He will forgive. Lift your In grief and in glory, still great is His faithfulness. If you felt broken and betrayed, no one to trust, alone, afraid, He'll comfort you. This has been your road to walk. He bore your pain. He wore your cross. Lift your head. Morning is coming. There's more to the story. Don't forget. In grief. His faithfulness, perfect, sovereign, fortress, great is His faithfulness. Then sings my soul, I say, Fear God to thee. Savior God
us pray. Good and holy Father, we love you from the bottom of our hearts. At this time, we come together with grateful hearts to say thank you for all the many blessings you shower us with. You provide us with the ability to work and receive blessings that allows us to take care of our families, friends, missions, and your beloved church. Thank you, Father, for growing our family so that we can take care of your house and each other. In the holy name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Every year I play the same song for Mother's Day, quite frankly, because I think you're amazing. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I
please rise for the benediction. Good and gracious Lord Jesus, we love you from the bottom of our hearts. We thank you for all the many graces you rain down in our lives. The grace of motherhood, above all. You baptize us Christians, and then you set us, our hands and feet busy, as guardians of the sick, as guardians of the injured, as guardians of the hungry, and as guardians of the hurting. Let not a soul anywhere in this world be hurting that at least one of us isn't trying to mend. Let no one suffer alone. Let no one be alone. Send us forth as your hands, feet, and love. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each and every one of you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Deliver us from evil.